A natural born coral killer. At around 30 inches in diameter, an individual crown of thorns starfish can devour up to 30 square feet of coral in a single year. Which might not sound like much, but when present in vast numbers, the results are catastrophic. And these sea creatures produce more offspring than any other marine organism on Earth. Each female develops over 50 million eggs in a breeding season. From the age of six months, the diet of juvenile starfish is comprised almost entirely of coral. Its characteristic venomous spines protect it from most predators. En masse, they are a force to be reckoned with. Yet, for the reef, there is hope on the horizon. An unlikely predator. The giant triton. One of the ocean's largest sea snails. Tritons can measure over a foot and a half from tip to tail. This giant gastropod feeds upon sea cucumbers and sea stars. The crown of thorns starfish seems to be one of its favourite foods. When hunting, the triton uses scent trails to track its prey. But it's not the only one with an acute sense of smell. The starfish senses the approaching threat and attempts to flee. The triton gives chase. It may appear that these creatures are going nowhere fast. But make no mistake, this is an active pursuit. A race to the death. With nowhere to hide, the starfish relies on its venomous spines as a last line of defence. But the starfish's defences offer little deterrent to the persistent predator. Giant tritons have developed a tolerance to the starfish's toxins. And their saliva contains a paralysing agent which brings the pursuit to an abrupt halt. Its hard-fought meal is now ready for consumption. It uses a serrated organ known as a radula to lacerate the soft tissue between the starfish's spines, then sucks the life from its paralysed victim, leaving little behind but an empty husk. But, as is the nature of a sea snail, it's in no hurry. This is a crown of thorns, an unusually large starfish that can grow to more than three feet in diameter. Instead of five radiating arms, typical of most starfish, this extraordinary predator can grow a staggering 21. It's easy to see where the name comes from. Hundreds of sharp defensive spines 
cover its entire body. Said to resemble Christ's biblical crown of thorns. This one is surprisingly agile as it moves across the sea floor looking for prey. Starfish typically move at a glacial pace of six inches a minute. A small shoal of damselfish and a larger yellowfin grouper can see the predator as it approaches. And the crown of thorns can see them. An eye on the end of each arm can detect shape but no detail. The fish appear to take flight. But they quickly return, unfazed by the predator in their midst. The crown of thorns is not interested in them. It's after the hard coral beneath them. Its tentacles search for the tiny living coral polyps that cover the surface. But this bush coral is no longer alive. The hard skeleton remains have been taken over by algae. This is now the vegetarian feeding patch of the territorial damselfish. The hungry crown of thorns must look elsewhere. Come the late afternoon, the crown of thorns is still on the prowl. Tiny cardinal fish hitch a ride tucked in amongst the hundreds of black, toxic spines. These little nocturnal carnivores gain sanctuary with their spiked protector until darkness falls, when they too will head out to hunt. travels over the reef. Its long, white, tubular feet probe for tasty coral polyps. If it finds some, it feeds in the most remarkable way. It's able to push its entire stomach out through its mouth on its underside to smother the coral. Stomach enzymes break down the living coral tissue into a kind of soup, which the crown of thorns then sucks up as it retracts its stomach back in through its mouth. This extraordinary tactic allows it to feast five times faster than other starfish. arms are prehensile, meaning they can grasp or hold on to an object. Within a minute, the carnivore smothers the coral. Its tiny passengers jump ship into the equally protective spines of an adjacent sea urchin, their more common host. The crown of thorns keeps moving on its destructive coral path. But this staghorn coral is already fatally damaged. Crown of thorns often return to the scene of their feasting crimes to remove any last polyp survivors. The hunter has already sucked the life out of this coral. 
evidenced by the algae and fine mucus, now coating the skeletal remains.